Hello and welcome to our development video about the styling of a layer. So what we want to show in this video is how you can adapt and edit uh, the module that we've created for styling. So the first thing you want to do is go to the FTP of the server you're using. Um, I'm already connected with uh, FileZilla. So the first thing you have to do is browse to the location of the module. Let's go there first. So as you can see, there are many modules already installed, but our module is called Processing of Uploads. So you want to download the mod module file. The next thing is to open it and then we can check out some stuff about it. Uh, let me explain some global things. Um, so this is a regular way of making a module. Uh, you use hooks of Drupal and you try to override them uh, for your personal needs. This is what we've done uh, and the first parts they shouldn't be adapted. So things that you may want to adapt is uh, the layout of your form. Um, this is what we've done. Uh, we have created a form uh, where you could select a layer type, a color, etc. And some additional uh, fields depending on which value you have, you have selected before. Uh, this is all adaptable if, if you would like. So let's scroll down a little bit and check out what else we have done. So this is the code that will be executed when you press on the submit button. First of all, we always try to reset the SLT file, the styling file, to its original status. Uh, we've chosen to do this because then uh, the fault tolerance will be uh, probably zero. Alright, uh, that's that part. Then the next thing you want to do is uh, load your filled in uh, values from the form into variables. This is what we've done with this part of code. Then uh, we attach uh, some values to uh, program easy in an easy way. The next part is uh, a lot of programming and I've attempted to add some extra comments on each part so that the code will be a lot more clear. So all of this uh, programming code is made for uh, changing the styling code you want to retrieve for users uh, automatically depending on what they have selected in the form. Alright, so let's scroll down. This is a lot of code but not so hard to understand eventually. Then the final part we want to do is actually write all of this to uh, the SLD file and then later on we will just read this form into the text field we have also created. This is the coding part. If you want to develop the styling some more, you we want to refer to the GeoServer documentation. In this documentation you can find uh, several examples of how to style uh, polygons or lines or even points. Um, so yeah, that's an important thing to know. For a result of this code that we've created in the module, uh, we would like to refer to our other video, which is the user side of styling a layer. Thank you for watching. 